To create overlap text effect, press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the layer. Now take Object Selection tool and click on Select Subject. Add a layer mask on it to remove the background. Take the text tool and type Grace in white color. Select the Move tool, press Ctrl or Command T to transform. In Vertical Skew, set the value minus 15. Again take the Move tool to apply the values and move it in the center. While holding Alt, drag the raised text to the bottom to create a duplicate text. Now press 5 to set its opacity to 50%. Another copy, press 2 for 20% opacity. And in the last, press 1 for 10% opacity. While holding Shift, select all text layers and drag it to the group icon to create a group. Press Ctrl or Command J to create a duplicate group. Select Group 1 and press Ctrl or Command D to merge it. Now go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Set the angle 20, distance 200 pixel, hit OK. Drag the layer 1 to the top. Select the background layer and add adjustment layer of color lookup. Set the 3D loot file to Night from Days and set its opacity to 40%. In this video, we are going to learn how to place a logo on a can. After placing your logo, take the Quick Selection tool and click on Select Subject. It will automatically make a selection. Now add a layer mask on it because we don't want the logo background. Right click and convert it into a smart object. Select the move tool, press Ctrl or Command T. Right click, select warp. Now change the custom option to arch. Adjust the logo according to the can. Right click, place, move it to the center. Now select the can layer and press Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate copy of the can. Then press Ctrl or Command Shift U to make it black and white. Drag it to the top and set the blend option to linear light. While holding Alt, click in between both layers to add a clipping mask and set the opacity to 80%. Today we will learn how to place a landing page on a laptop in Photoshop. So let's get started. First, open the image in Photoshop. The link is in the description to download this photo. So you can follow along with this tutorial. Let's drag the landing page design inside this. Scale it up, right click, place. Now press Ctrl or Command A, then press Ctrl or Command C to copy and press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Hide the landing page layer for now and select the background. Now go to Filter, Vanishing Point. Press Ctrl or Command Plus to zoom in and while holding space, you can pan. Make a rectangle on the laptop screen. Now press Ctrl or Command V to paste the landing page design here. Now press Ctrl or Command T to transform and scale it down while holding Shift. Now move the design on the rectangle, it will automatically snap. Place it in the center. Hit OK. Check out this technique to make a design like this. Press Command or Ctrl R to show the ruler. Click on top ruler to drag the guide. Now from the left, we are making a midpoint for the transform tool. Now press Ctrl or Command T and while holding Alt, drag the anchor point to the bottom left. Let's add rotation, you can do it manually, but I will set the value 30 here. Press Enter. Now press Ctrl or Command Shift Alt T. It will make a duplicate copy of the leaf. Now long press Ctrl or Command Shift Alt and press T multiple times until you get a full rotation. I have another red leaf. Repeat the process on it. Set the midpoint, rotate it, set rotation value, press Enter, Ctrl Shift Alt T. This process is very easy to learn, just do it once. Same process on this one as well. You can make multiple patterns with a single design. To make it presentable, let's add a gradient as well. Today we will learn how to change colors in a photo in Photoshop. We are going to use this image and try to change the color of the car. First go to select color range, change the select to reds. Because the car color is red and we are going to make a selection of all the reds inside the image. Hit OK. Now to be more precise, take the lasso tool, click on intersect with selection icon in the header and start creating the selection of the car. It will subtract the outer reds from the selection. You don't need to be so accurate, we just want all the area of the car. Now add an adjustment layer of hue saturation and slide the hue values to change it to any color. We will learn how to create a cloud brush from a photo in Photoshop. So let's get started. Open a photo in Photoshop with clouds. Take the lasso tool and create a selection of the cloud you want to make a brush of. Now press Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate copy and press Ctrl or Command Shift U to make the image desaturate. Again press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. Set its layer mode to color burn. Now while holding Ctrl or Command select both layers and press Ctrl or Command E to merge them. Now press Ctrl or Command I to inverse the colors. Remember when we create our brush, whites will be not visible in the brush. That's why the clouds are black. Hide the background layer. Go to edit and click on define brush preset. Set the name cloud, hit enter. 
Our brush is already created, let's use it on this image. Take the brush tool, right click, scroll to the bottom and here is our brush. You can create your own clouds now. Take quick selection tool and select the image. Click on mask to remove the background. Add an adjustment layer of gradient. Click on gradient to edit. Let's choose this gradient. Hit OK two times. Drag it below the image. Add another adjustment layer of gradient. We will choose black and white. Hit OK. Set the style to radial and scale will be 70%. Hit OK. Right click on it and convert it into a smart object. Now go to filter, pick slate, color half tone. Set the radius to 35, hit OK and blend mode will be divide. Right click on image layer and open the blending option. Take on drop shadow, set the opacity to 50%, angle will be 30, distance 100 and size also 100. Hit OK. It's looking much better now but let me tell you why I converted the gradient into a smart object. By double click on half tone, you can re-edit the size. To give it a complete look, add some text. Today we will learn how to make digital signature in Photoshop. So let's get started. First make a signature on a blank card or a paper and click a photo with your camera or your phone. Now open the image in Photoshop. Let's crop the sides of it. Take the crop tool, make a rectangular selection, right click, crop. Now add adjustment layer of curves to brighten the image. Move the blacks to the right and whites to the left. It will make your signature more prominent. In the channels tab, select the RGB and click on load channels as selection. Now go to select inverse. It will select our signature. Open the path panel and click on make work path from selection. Now go to layer panel and add a solid color of whatever color you want for your signature. You can also add an adjustment layer for background color. Now we have successfully created a digital signature with just a photo. Today we will learn how to place a logo on a t-shirt. Open the t-shirt image in Photoshop. Now drag the logo file and place it over the t-shirt. Position it to the center. Now make a duplicate copy of t-shirt layer. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Set the value to click OK. Hide the logo layer and save this file as displacement map. We don't want the duplicate copy so delete it. Select the logo layer and convert it into a smart object. Now go to filter, distort, displace. Set the value 4. Click OK. Select the displacement map and open it. Double click on logo layer to open the blending options. While holding Alt, drag the arrow to the left. It will give us a soft transition and our logo will be blend with the t-shirt. And set the opacity to 80%. To convert an image from low to high resolution, go to image, image size. Here we will increase the resolution to 300. Now the width is almost 4 times greater than the initial values. Hit OK. Here you can see we increase the resolution but the image is so pixelated. So how to avoid it? For now let's copy this result and undo it. To avoid pixelation go to edit, preferences, technology previews. In this check the enable preserve details 2.0 upscale. Now the artificial intelligence will assist us in enlarging the image. Now go to image, image size, set the resolution to 300 and set the automatic resample to preserve detail 2.0. By reducing the noise you will get more sharp image and by increasing it you will get a soft image. Let's set it 50%, hit OK. To compare the result, paste the previous result here, zoom in. So this is the before, this is the after. If you learned something new, hit the subscribe button. My name is Shubham. Thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena.